Nope, the title of this video is not clickbait. It is exactly as you read it. <coughs> Teen dies after fake doctor reportedly conducts surgery by following a YouTube tutorial. Now, many poor victims went to this doctor and their lives depended on two things. Does this doctor have YouTube premium? And the YouTuber this doctor is watching the video from, is he a clickbaiter or not? I'm still very surprised on why YouTube allows surgery tutorials step to step maybe put the behind the scenes sure but surgery tutorials for, for for what and then they at the end they put do not try this at home as if it makes a difference so one day poor krishna kumar a 15 year old indian boy he was having armpit paratas in the in, that's what i call street food in india he was having armpit paratha but his stomach didn't sit well with the food so he got food poisoning he had some pain on his stomach so he decided to go to a clinic with his parents the family member of this boy took the 15 year old to a private clinic in district of sarah in bihar india after he complained of stomach pain and began to throw up while vomiting stopped soon after they reached the medical facility a doctor told the family that the teenager would still need to be operated on now i will never question a doctor's answers unless they are wearing flip-flops with a coat that's what i'm assuming the doctor in the india was wearing the guy who did the operation was operating with a YouTube tutorial video. Now, when the boy comes to the clinic with the stomach pain, this is the re first red flag they should have seen. You have a stomach pain? It's gone. Leave. There is no internal bleeding. There is none of that shit. It is common sense, common logic. If a doctor tells you no, you still need to operate on... For, for what you will shut it out later it is not like cancer it's gonna come back you just need one juicy night in the shithole then you will be fine you just need to poop it out and you'll be completely fine bro i'm assuming with stomach pain he just had uh food poisoning you just give out some diarrheas you stay under the blanket for 24 hours you'll be fine you feel like shit you feel like you're dying but you'll be fine you don't need the, no operations on now, maybe the doctor was very good at convincing, and I'm sure it's a private clinic. They just wanted to take the family's money, and they didn't know what the hell they were doing. They were just con artists. Either they all showed up, opened the clinic over there, and they were all scammers. None of them knew whatever the hell they were doing, or the, that person, that doctor, lied in his resume. Now, lying in your resume saying that you're actually a doctor with a certificate is nothing like lying in your resume that you know like multiple languages, but it turns out that you don't. This is people's lives in your hand. I'm assuming that the whole clinic was a scam because how the fuck would other people allow him to operate while he's watching a YouTube tutorial? YouTube tutorial. Maybe the clinic was very desperate for a doctor and there was no doctors to be found in the city of Bihar. Maybe that's the reason. The Times of India reports that uh, Krishna was given medication and felt better. However, the doctor continue to insist on urgent surgery to remove the teenager's gallstones. Krishna's grandfather claimed the doctor sent the boy's father to a local patrol station for diesel in case they need to transport him to hospital. During this time, he says the doctor began the surgery without the family's consent. Well, Mr. Grandfather, you're part of the family. Where were you in this situation? Why didn't... I wonder why didn't he stop the surgeon from doing the surgery where he was just there. He was part of the family and he could have not given the consent the whole thing just smells very fishy now i don't know what was this doctor's rush maybe he just saw a new video on a new youtuber showing new surgical uh tutorials and that's why he just wanted to try on this kid no matter what it was she sent the dad to go buy diesel in case they need to transport him to a hospital they're in a clinic why are they doing a surgery in a in a a stomach surgery not even like implants for the face there's a lot of question that needs to be raised but end of the day it is india as well i honestly thought that it's just my country in iran that you can you know make a fake certificate and you can get away with it they also said that during the surgery i could see the quack repeatedly checking youtube on his mobiles for instructions now this is not like building a car or fixing a tree house or anything like that this is a person's life in your hands and you go on YouTube to one middle ad. All it takes is one unskippable ad and the patient's soul will leave their body. If I was one of his patients, then I go in the afterlife and I found out that I died because of a clickbait YouTube video. 
I'll be so fucked. I will never for forgive these guys. The father echoed to the Hindustan Times, we just wanted to the vomiting to stop. He conducted the surgery without our consent. When Krishna began uh, deteriorating, something like that, during the surgery, his father says the doctor tried to take him to another hospital, but he died on the way. He further claimed that his son died because of the butchered operation. Well, no shit. Even if my doctor starts playing music, I'll tell the people, you know, who are watching after me to shut him up. I need him focus on when he's operating on me, especially if he's opening up my stomach. The 15 year old's family believed the doctor was a self-styled and fake and have left questioning whether this supposed medical professional even had any qualifications. I guess watching a YouTube tutorial video in front, you know, while he's operating on your son, I think it should answer your questions, but okay. Indian Medical Association State uh, Secretary of Dr. Santush Kumar stated that this incident is very unfortunate. The health department must take actions against such quacks. What the fuck does a quack mean? Well, Deputy of Police Isha Guptu told the Hindu that we have lodged the case against them and searches are underway to arrest the accused. Further investigation is on. So, bro fled. Unfortunately, it's not the first time someone has posed as a fake doctor and caused death of a patient. Now, this indeed is true. There are a lot of fake doctors in India, apparently. Two doctors, a woman with no medical training, and a lab technician posing as surgeons. The fake surgeons may have led to the death of one patient after they performed gallbladder surgery on him. Delhi police have arrested Dr. Neera Jagarwal, his wife Pooja Agarwal, and Dr. Jaspreet Singh, and their lab technician Mahinder Singh. The police say Dr. Neera Jagarwal and Dr. Jaspreet are doctors but not surgeons. Neeraj's wife Pooja has no medical background at all. Despite this, they have been performing surgeries on vital organs of patients. According to the complainants, Dr. Agarwal displayed fake documents and hoodwinked them. And apparently there's another doctor that five years ago, he posed as a fake doctor and gave 21 patients HIV. And they said they have a search going on for this guy. And I really want to know when once he gets caught, I doubt that he will get caught because the India population is just way too many. But if he gets caught, I really want to know if he blames the YouTube video, the YouTuber who made this video in the first place or not. Or, and if YouTube... I believe they should remove any surgical tutorials possible. This shit shouldn't be there because it is show that I don't know the behind the scenes of it. Do not show how to do it. Take the knife, open the bladder, jiggle the belly a little bit for massages, open it up, take the organs out, cut it with this shouldn't be allowed on YouTube in the first place. In 2020 as well, a 51-year-old woman was found guilty of forging a license, obtaining employment as an allergist, and was responsible for the death of three patients, causing other serious damages as well. She was sentenced on three counts of murder and 10 counts of attempted murder and handed life in prison. Now in India and that part of the world, things are not as organized as in the US or in the you know gcc countries it is usually underfunded and just flooded with patients and there's not much supervision over who has an actual license and who doesn't so what did we learn from this video if you want to do a surgery in india don't and even if you live in the u.s you never know who's who honestly if your doctor look for red flags if your doctor you go to the doctor you say oh my left eye hurts and he says that your medication is to put one of his fingers up your butt that is not how eyes are fixed. That is not regarding your eye at all. He wants to fuck you. So always look for red flags and do not always believe what everyone. Honestly, this whole thing, this whole story gave me trust issues. And next time I go to the doctor, which is I think in uh, like 10 more years, but I'm absolutely terrified to do a full body check because I'm afraid what I'm going to be finding out. Just like when you take your car to the garage, you do a full check and then your wallet will be crying later on. But if I go for anything else, surgery is the last option unless it is something very serious. And make sure, you know, you go to a proper hospital, not some doctor who's wearing uh, slippers. I'm just saying. But anyways, like the video, share it, like it, you know what to do. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And take care of yourself. I will see you at the next one.